Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Okay, we're all, we're all in Florida. Let me get this question in from him. This is from Richard. Um, a lot of what you're talking about is, is happening on a grand scale in the whole country, but also happening in Florida that we're all residents of and, and other states, right? What can we do in Florida to turn this around? Florida is supposed to be run by Republicans, Yes. In the quotes. See, I'm doing the yes. air quotes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what can we do to turn this around? What the hairy heck is happening to Florida? Well, we need to we need to get the people educated. We need to get them involved. The, what we need to do is make people understand that there's a deception going on in Tallahassee. Uh, there's sort of like a, a, a false security because we have a Republican House, a Republican Senate, and a Republican governor. Uh, we used to have a Republican attorney general, Republican Commission of Agriculture, you know, that sort of thing. And right now, as we speak, we have flying through our legislature that's going to be voted on the House floor, SB 311 and, I'm sorry, HB 311 and SB 728, which is which takes our current red flag law and puts it on crack. Mm -hmm. And it's just flying through. Only one House rep voted against it in committee. Mike Hill voted against it. Every other Republican and Democrat voted for it. And what this bill does is it's an add-on to our red flag law that makes it a crime uh, to, to speak a verbal threat, right? So oh. in Florida... The crime of, of, um, of uh, assault mm -hmm. is defined as making a threat of imminent uh, authority, right? Mm -hmm. So if you threaten you're going to punch somebody in the face and you're standing in front of them or you're going to shoot them and they're standing in front of them with a gun, right, then that's the crime of assault. Currently. What this new, currently. Mm -hmm. What this new law does is it allows an ambiguous perceived threat with no due process with no actual imminent danger or ability to actually carry out the threat to now allow the government to not only take your arms for 12 months as the red flag law says 12 months you get to fight to get your rights back it now takes it to a permanent revocation with no due process whatsoever and it's flying through I've been trying to really tell people you need to call your house rep to, uh, tomorrow. You need to call your senator if you live in Florida tomorrow and demand that they vote no on uh, HB 311 and SB 728. It's just and it's just like you said, we've got all these Republicans up there. Yeah, they're, they're running the everything. Ones that took our guns away. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, they're running so everything. What, so what I'm hearing is we'll translate this into simple terms. Mm -hmm. So if I'm here and they're talking to you on the internet and I say something, let's we this guy needs to have his head cut off. That's right. Mm -hmm. Boom. Threat. Yep, that's it. You're done. That's You're absolutely done. Threat, yeah. And, it, and, and if it's, somebody it's a someone's a, someone's threat. offended, yep. someone's scared because of a shadow, then then they next thing I know, dun, 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 my door. Yep, and it could be a lifetime revocation. And it's not I don't see this people people thing. This is about politicians. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. They're because... they are they are running scared because they know what could happen. Right. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Well, not only that, I mean, what we're talking about here is a, an entire system that's completely antithetical to who we are. The, the red flag system is guilty until proven innocent. And then you're thrust into a criminal justice system where you have to pay to get your right. rights back. And, and, because and, you don't you don't fight for nothing. I, right? I know you, you have I, to pay. I know you have a law degree, but... Um... Lawyers are part of this problem too. I'd oh, I'm this. the first to tell you. I'm probably the <laughs> lawyers least are a big part of the problem we'll because meet. you have to pay them to get your to get your time in court, and you got to go in front of another lawyer to hear your case. Well, but it's <laughs> even worse than that because you do have the right to represent yourself. But even if you choose to represent yourself, you still have to pay court fees. You got to You have to pay all that stuff. Now, court fees 
were extremely offensive to our founding fathers. They're one of the reasons why we we actually went to war for independence mm -hmm. was having to pay for our right to due process. Yeah. Now, I'm not a lawyer, but correct me if I'm wrong, the whole nature of these things flip over you're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. The whole yes. nature of these things flip that around and you become guilty of a pre-crime and then right. you have to figure out how to prove yourself innocent and you yes. have no recourse for people who could, uh, for example, weaponize this stuff. I, right. I, I always get a kick out of the word red flag because where, where do they fly red flags? Uh, in communist countries? In, in communist countries they mm -hmm. fly red flags, don't okay. they? Aren't these laws kind of like communist stuff? We are guilty well, and you get... Most people think that red flag laws are a violation of your right to keep and bear arms, and that's sort of represented by the Second Amendment. Mm -hmm. But in reality, these red flag laws deny you of the Flor – their Florida has the equivalent of our Bill of Rights in our Florida Constitution. So they deny us of our right to keep and bear arms. They deny us of our right to self-defense. They deny us of our right to property. Mm -hmm. because it is a taking of property right. without due process. Mm -hmm. They deny us of our right to due process. And when you think about it, it also denies us of our right of freedom of speech and the right to freedom of, of press and the right to peaceably assemble and the right to petition the government for a redress of our grievances. Because human nature says, when the government has an arbitrary, unlimited authority to take your stuff, and the most fundamental will be mm -hmm. the stuff that ensures your life, Freedom. right? Yeah. You will shut your mouth against government in yeah. order to keep your life. Sounds like sounds like the British. Sounds like uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like <laughs> and, communism. And, and, and once again, what's that, that big cycle thing, right? Yeah. We're coming mm -hmm. right back around to where we were 200 years ago, where you just you know, comply. Yeah. If you, you, if you think about what was the name of the comedian that um, well, she she thinks she's a comedian that did the um, she did the effigy of Trump like his, his severed head. And yeah. she said it was yeah, a joke. I, and did all a whole, that. I did a whole video about her. I don't remember yeah. what her name. I'm trying they, to remember. They, if, if you're in the party that's in, you, they do nothing to those folks. Yeah. Well, that's what nothing. I was going to say to you. Uh, if those these if these same principles were applied to her. Right. She would have lost everything. Someone yeah. would have gone there, but, taken everything away from her ability to do that. You know, uh, well, all, can I everything would have been taken for a from second? her. Mm -hmm. um, in Florida, in 2010 or 11, I went and spoke before the Florida Senate Judiciary Committee about the Affordable Care Act. Mm -hmm. And I, I went up there to explain to the the Senate Judiciary Committee that there's no reason why the state of Florida had to accept the Affordable Care Act. Number one, that we never delegated the power to the federal government to dictate health care. There's no health care clause in the Constitution, hmm. which means the exercise of that authority is unconstitutional and therefore null and void. That's what Article 6, Clause 2 of the Constitution says, that if a law or an act is created outside the Constitution, it has no legal authority. Hmm. And so I went up there to explain that to them. Then the Senate president, a Republican by the name of Don Gates, and I got into a tangle over that. And he, he was very condescending, very abusive, and he said, uh, Miss Hall, why don't you send me an email and tell me what you think? So I did. And I sent him a whole email. I published thing, this all on my website at the time, too. Everything mm -hmm. that I wrote. Mm -hmm. And the, um, the uh, um, Senate president, Don Gates, the guy I wrote the email to, sent me back an email and told me that he thought that I should be shot or hanged for asserting that the state should stand against wow. unconstitutional federal authority. That's a red flag wow. offense. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. Can, we, can, can you we, imagine if yeah. I had sent the Senate president an email and told him that I thought he should be shot or hanged? Yeah. Well, it's like, uh, so do you know, um, have you heard of Keith Perry? He's our, um, he's our uh, representative here in this, in this uh, Gainesville area, right? 
And mm -hmm. um, these are the guys, I think he's the one that allowed the bill out of committee for all the gun control stuff that we got that Rick Scott signed, etc. And, you know, one of the things here is we get to see these guys. And when we were giving him uh, a piece of our mind with all the new things. So, for example, now, until you're, um, until you're 21, you can't even purchase a gun. Like yeah. before it was, you, you know, you, to get your CCW and all that kind of stuff, you had to be 21. Now you can't get anything. Yeah. And when we were telling him about that, just as an example, he said, I don't even think you should be able to vote until you're 21. Oh, I agree. You know? If you can't buy a gun, you shouldn't be able to vote. Yeah, you also shouldn't have to go into the military. Right, exactly. No. Right. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, though. If you think about it from the, you know, the deprivation of rights perspective in the mm -hmm. state of Florida, when you're 18, you can legally get married without your parents consent mm -hmm. at the at the age of 18. You can go into debt. You can have a mortgage mm -hmm. and buy a house. You can buy mm -hmm. a car. Yeah. You can have a family. Um, yeah. You can be a police officer at the yeah. age of 18 right. and carry a gun. Yeah. But at the age of 18 to 21, you can have all those things, but you cannot protect them yourself. Exactly. You, you are can... a criminal if you want to try to protect your family or your home. Right. That's what we were trying to you tell don't... them. You could be a single mother that's 19, 20 years old, and you're out there on your own, and you know you don't have the ability to defend yourself, yet you're working late shifts, all that kind of stuff, right? So what yeah. do we do? What do we do about these guys? who tell us they believe in the Constitution, they tell us they believe in, in guns and this thing and that thing, we vote for them, they've got the R behind their name, what do we do when we run into this? And then their thing they always come up with is, well, if you don't vote for me, then the Democrats are gonna be worse than me. So, show me how they're gonna be worse than you. Seriously, I, I, I am not a partisan person. So I am a Christian and I am told that I'm supposed to know people by their fruits. And if my if your fruits show me that you have no respect for life, you have no respect for liberty, you have no respect for property, then guess what? I'm going to take the other guy. I'm going to take the other guy because what did you, what did we come to the conclusion for first? People have got to get uncomfortable before they're going to make the changes. Mm -hmm. And as long as we keep electing these people because they have an R behind their name, yet they act like the very people they say they hate. Mm -hmm. They're liars, they're deceivers, they're wicked, and they're immoral. Yeah, and we I might, we might as well, we might as well, but you can't. yeah, we might as well have those people, and then everyone wakes up and realizes, like, hey, we got to do stuff about this and vet yeah, but... and get real, real people in there that are going to do yeah. something other than people who have an R behind their name. Go ahead, Walt. Once, yes. once these things get passed, they don't get redone. Sorry. Yeah. No, you get a, a law you, you repeal right now. You get this red flag stuff in there, it is not going to go away. Well, I don't care. I don't so, care who gets elected. So, okay, right. so if the Republicans are putting it into effect, then we're, then we're done. Yeah. Well, it, well they again, are. It, they are putting it into effect. We have right yeah. now in the House of Representatives one representative named Mike Hill from the Panhandle mm -hmm. who has put forward a piece of legislation to repeal the mm -hmm. red flag laws. He mm -hmm. can't get any Republican in the mm -hmm. Senate to write a sister bill, and he can't get but two other co-signers to do it. Mm -hmm. So you're absolutely right. Once they pass it through, they it, will never it, repeal it. It will not That's go why away. We have to get involved this week. That bill is going to be signed into law, that red flag law extension on well, crack. will be signed into law if we don't start making phone calls this week. DeSantis has to sign it, then. Yeah. Yeah. So so I know we've got like maybe a minute here. What you know, what would you say to the people of Florida? You know, what do the people of Florida need to know? What do we need to do? We've got like less than a week, you're saying, right? What exactly do we need to do? What would you say to the people of Florida who believe in freedom, who don't want to see this happen? What can they do? Well, um on the short term, with this new piece of legislation that's being pushed through, you need to go. To, you need to call your House rep and your senator tomorrow. You need to let them know. I mean, we've got to blow the phones up and shut the up. switchboard yeah. down, and tell them if you vote yes for this, we have your mark, and mm -hmm. we will not put you in whether you're an R or not. This is serious stuff because this is full-on communist disarming of the people. Right. through speech and no due process. Right. On the long term, I would say to my fellow Floridians, 
put aside the party paradigms and get educated on the Constitution. Don't get your education on the Constitution from a Republican think tank. Get your education on the Constitution from independent people who are trained in the founders, trained in the Constitution, who have taken the time to study them out. Now, don't get your education on the Constitution from a lawyer either, because we don't teach the Constitution in law school, okay? We don't do that. What I know about the Constitution, I know because I took the time to study myself. And I've got books out there. I've got DVDs out there. I've got a whole online training program called LibertyFirstUniversity.com mm -hmm. where you stream my classes at your own pace and study them. And we promise you no historical revision, no political revision, no agenda, only teaching you true history and true intent. Okay, very cool. Len Holt says he's confused. He says, I'm confused. Is this a Florida bill or a federal bill? I believe Florida. it's a Florida bill. It's What's a Florida the... bill. It what is, is a it? Florida bill. What is it called again? Um, HB? SB. SB. A SB. H I'm sorry. HB 311 okay. and SB 728. There you go. So that's exactly what we're talking about. It's going to happen in Florida. I know this stuff is happening all over the country. Uh, you know, we just went through Virginia. There's other places, but this is particularly happening in Florida. The reason why I'm asking, Chris Ann, is I'm going to pull this out, make a snippet of it, and put it up. Hopefully, we'll we'll get folks out there yeah, to share yeah. the message. And because we we honestly we're running out of time here. And then, like yeah. Walter said, we're just going to be living with this no matter what we do after that because these guys won't pull it back. Absolutely. It's it's really, really frightening to see how quickly a, a Republican majority in both the House and the Senate have come forward and said, look, um, we run on the political platform that says we support the right to keep and bear arms. We oppose every law that deprives law abiding gun owners of their rights. That's the Republican Party national platform. Mm -hmm. And yet we've got this Republican majority in Tallahassee that are working at a breakneck speed to deny law abiding citizens their right to keep and bear arms. And this has to stop. We we I sent the governor we sent the governor of Florida that signed gun control into law into the in the state of Florida. He signed gun control into law we sent him off to the Senate as a I reward. I was, well, I was very people... happy to see, I was very happy to see what's his face, not very elected, the Democrat. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Sorry, yeah. well, I, I was I very know. happy to Most see. Most people don't know Rick Scott's history. Most people don't know that Rick Scott actually tried to remove a Florida sheriff from office for uh, protecting the right to keep and bear arms of the people in his county. Rick Scott had him prosecuted and he was found not guilty at a trial because the charges were so ridiculous. You went to Rick Scott about the red flag law. We went to Rick Scott about this sheriff and said, don't you do this. This is not right. This is not constitutional. This is contrary to people's liberty. And it's an abuse of power that will make you look like a fool. And it absolutely blew up in his face in North Florida, but the media never covered it. Nobody ever talked about it. And nobody knows Rick Scott is the, is the governor who, mm -hmm. who tried to deprive a sheriff of his job for standing for our rights. Yeah, and now he's, now he's, uh, he's up in the Senate. So it, it'll be awesome. America will be great moving forward based on that. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.